Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the next portion in our module 5 that is combined motion of rotation and translation. We have already uh, gone through these two topics separately as you all know. Uh, we have gone through the translation that is rectilinear motion in the last module and uh, we have discussed uh, the rotation motion uh, in the uh, introduction portion of this module 5. So next we are going to discuss uh, the combination of these two that is the combined motion of rotation and translation. B uh, also this combined motion of rotation and transla translation is known as general plane motion or GPM general plane motion nothing but the combination of or combined motion of translation translation you know translation motion is straight line motion and rotation is you know about an angle about an angular dis, uh, displacement theta hmm? so here uh, you can see in the figure uh, one rigid link is uh, shown as a b and it, its initial position is a b and its final position is a1 b1 hmm? Here what happened to this link AB in the uh, respective second and third figure uh, the initial position AB to final position A1 B1 is split up into two motions that is in the second figure you can see AB link in the N link AB B is moving from B to B dash and A moving from A to a1 that is a b changes to a 1 b dash you can see that right so that is a translation motion that is uh, uh, <coughs> this uh, a b has moved or in the straight straight line motion that is a b is changed to a 1 b dash that is it's an it's a translation motion in the second portion you can see the link a 1 b dash changes to a1 b1 that is only the point b dash b dash is moving from b dash to b1 that is it's it's moving it's, it's it, uh, the a, a1 b dash is having a rotary motion with respect to the point a1 that is only b dash is moving to b1 so in the second figure we can see that first it undergoes the link a b undergoes a translation motion and in the second half it undergoes a rotation motion that is this is a combination that is it's known as general plane motion in the third figure the rotation and translation they have uh, shown like first it uh, goes through the rotation and second phase it, it has gone through translation hmm? a b you can see a b first rotate to a a b dash and that then a b dash changes to a 1 b 1 in both cases uh, we can say that the link a b has the link a b has gone through general plane motion from a b to a 1 b 1 so this combined motion of rotation and translation is known as general plane motion okay then moving on to moving on to uh, the point main important point which we need to consider and we need to find out in the coming uh, problems that is in our general plane motions we are considering the general plane motion as a pure rotation okay so in our problems to do the problems we are considering the gpm as a pure rotation but in pure rotation we have to specify the point about which the rotation happens in any, any rotation it should be a point there will be a point about which any rotation happens so similarly in a general plane motion also in problems we are considering it as a pure rotation and we need to find out the point about which that rotation is happening and that point is known as instantaneous center or IC okay so in the coming portion I'm going to discuss I'm going to tell you how we can find out the instantaneous center for a general plane motion hmm? you can see the uh, uh, definition of instantaneous center here you can uh, read it here this uh, this combined motion of rotation and translation may be assume, assumed to be a motion of pure rotation about some center as the position of link AB goes on changing 
therefore the center about which the motion of rotation is assumed to take place also goes on changing that is at one point or at one instant one rotating body will have a one rotating body means a body which undergoes general plane motion will have a center and in the next instant the center will be changed to one point to another so the locus of all such instantaneous centers is known as centroid not centroid it's centroid okay c n t r o d e okay so instantaneous center what is it? what is it? the definition of instantaneous center the combined motion of translation and rotation of a body may be treated as a motion of pure rotation for the sake of simplicity about a center point known as instantaneous center okay so here in the figure you can see we are considering a uh, body rigid body uh, here uh, uh, we are showing here that it, it is undergoing general plane motion we are showing the picture or the in at the instant so uh, like we are taking a picture of that uh, body at an instant and we are considering that picture hmm? so we are considering the body is having general plane motion it undergoes at what a point ic we can see the ic here uh, ic here so the body is moving with an angular velocity omega okay so at this point the, there are different points on the body like p a b you can see, see it in the figure right so the these respective points will have some velocities vp va vb and the directions of the velocities are given in the picture hmm? okay so how will we determine the instantaneous center at this instant it's very easy like simply we will draw perpendiculars from the velocities and we, it will meet a point that is here you can see uh, vp vp is like this direction so drawing perpendicular will go like this the next va is in that direction perpendicular will go in this direction and vb is in direction perpendicular will go in this direction three of them will meet at a point which is known as our instantaneous instantaneous center okay so we know in rotation in rotation we know angular velocity is equal to angular velocity is equal to linear velocity by radius right or we know v is equal to r omega so omega equal to v by r so for this body at this instant omega is equal to for different velocities we can say for a, if we are considering the velocity point p it will be vp by the r will be this distance that is icp and and we can also write is equal to va by the radius will be ica in case of vb we can say vb by icb okay so it's, it's it is given in the uh, next word portion here you can see that angular velocity is equal to va by ica equal to vp by icp equal to vb by icb it's a common equation then location of incidence as i have already told you how will we determine the uh, incidence center will draw the velo uh, perpendiculars from the velocities and will join at a point and the po the point is known as what is known as instantaneous center okay there are some special cases also we need to discuss about locating instantaneous centers in the coming portions like we'll uh, say for a first case like when the velocity of two points in the body are unequal parallel and in same direction in the figure you can see the first figure you can see uh, a point a is there a point b is there the both the point b is moving with the velocities different velocities va and vb they are unequal that is their magnitude are different they are in same direction they are both are in in the uh, towards right direction right so the body are unequal parallel and in same direction okay then how will we draw, uh, find out the instantaneous center simply we'll join uh, the points that is we'll join the points a and b and x in the pole x in the line and we'll uh, we'll join the extremities that is va and vp points and extend it the joining points will be point will be the our incidental center okay that is our first case in second case that is uh, when the velocities of two points are parallel and in opposite direction okay parallel and in opposite that is known in the second figure here you can see um, Uh, VA is in the this direction, VB is in this direction. They are parallel, equal, and in opposite direction. In that case, also we'll join the A points A and B, 
enjoy the extremity points the meeting points will be our hinge and anus and there okay that is our second case it's very simple and the third one is nothing but velocities of the two points are equal parallel and in same direction equal parallel and same direction so in the figure uh, we if we join a and b the line will go like this we will join the extremity points will get a line like this. so these two lines are not intersecting that means here we cannot determine the instantaneous center of rotation okay that that means in this case any point on this body will have the same velocity at an instant if you take any point it will have the same velocity at, the, at that instant okay okay so we'll go, uh, go uh, we are going to consider or we are going to take the problems on instantaneous center so for that we are going to study one example for combined the motion of translation and rotation that is nothing but the connecting road crank connecting road mechanism that is in our engines you have studied in mechanical engineering uh, basic mechanical engine the crank connecting road mechanism uh, in our uh, engines that is there will be uh, one piston there will be one uh, crank which is rotating and this piston and the crank are connected by a connecting road okay here, here the piston will have a motion in straight line that is in the two and from motion towards right and left it will move like this so piston is having pure translation the crank in the case of crank you we know the point a is fixed and the a b crank is rotating that is it's having pure rotation so in between them they ha will have a connecting road and which will have a combination of this translation and rotation so connecting road is the part which undergoes gpm hope it's clear for you in the next video we'll uh, discuss how will we do the problems uh, uh, regarding uh, general plane motion okay Thank you.